is up ladies and gentlemen I am Nintendo Man 64 and I am bringing you some more Pokemon Emerald in the last episode we made our way to the team aqua lair but we're unable to prevent Archie from awakening Kyogre and now as you can see with all the chaotic weather we've been enduring through here throughout the Hoenn region Kyogre and Groudon are now waging a total war everyone is flying to Zootopolis from in case you were here the last episode so I figure we should do the same come on dino slave fly me if the cursor will comply to Zootopolis and yep cutscene I was about to be like I hope the con I hope the controls are locked for this yep Groudon and Kyogre this was the best the Game Boy could do, folks. One wants land everywhere, one wants sea everywhere. And they're dancing. How do we know they're fighting? They could just be friends, you know? Maybe they want to purge the world of all nonsense and evil and anarchy and all that shit. How do we know? The thing is, we don't. Alright, so what are you two doing? Groudon, please stop what you're doing. I know the extent of your power now. If you keep going, all Hoenn, not just Zootopolis, will be utterly ruined. Kyogre, what's wrong? Look over here, it's the Red Orb. Calm down, Kyogre. It's no good, it's not responding at all. Greedy assholes. Can I catch you guys? I'm curious. Can I throw a Pokeball? Come on. Come on. I deserve something today. If I'm going to be doing everyone's freaking dirty work. <sighs> Whatever. Hi, Steven. Those Pokemon fighting. Groudon and Kyogre. The two super ancient Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep. And now they're smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. Deetzy, you being here now, I'll take to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. I kinda am. I was trying to prevent it from happening. Do you not realize that? Whatever. Well then, there's someone that I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Listen, Deetzy, does seeing Groudon and Kyogre make you think Pokemon are to be feared? But that's not true. Pokemon are really more. They're to fear us. <laughs> Why am I asking you this? You already know. Or do I? Okay, here we are. Inside here you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have what's needed to help him. I do? Well, that makes one of us think that think that is the case. Alright. Let's, let's wander our way through the Cave of Origin. Which is a hell of a lot easier than I remember it being. Eh, whatever. Ah, so you're Dietzy. I've heard tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader of Zootopolis, but something came up. So now I've entrusted my mentor, Juan, asshole, <laughs> with the gym's operation. Groudon and Kyogre, the two Pokemon wreaking havoc here, are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There is one more somewhere. Somewhere, there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It, said that, it is said that Rayquaza was the one who become the two combatants in the distant past. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. DT, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you do, please tell me. Ah, shit. Was I really supposed to be paying attention to when Brendan called? Ugh, whatever. Uh, Sky Pillar? The Sky Pillar? That's it! It must be the Sky Pillar. Darn it, just gotta get 
Everything gets tangled around my foot so easily. I don't know why. Titi, there's not a moment to lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away. And yeah, just leave me down here. Because, you know. If I'm so important to this plan, why am I left down here? There's nothing down in the Cave of Origin for me to get. The Sky Pillar. I've never been there. I wonder where it could be. I know where it is, and it's only because I've played this game's this game's this game more times than I'm willing to admit. Now you can't do anything here in Sutopolis other than use the Pokemon Center until you calm down the weather. Hence why I wanted to get here earlier so we could get the TM for Brick Break. And yet I have not taught it to anyone, which is weird. Aren't Pokemon our friends? Why are they going wild this way? Because the world sucks. Unfortunately... Dino Slave, you don't know Dive, so you can't help us here. It is time for George V to return. My chubby little chubster. He's such a good boy. He's a very good boy. Now, are you sure you guys don't want me to catch you? Hmm, oh well. Hey, if we all live underwater, we don't have any of these problems. I mean, come on. I can live here forever. We all can live here forever, apparently. Okay. Now, first things first. I need some repels. No way in hell am I going to be dealing with a bunch of friggin... No way in hell am I going to be dealing with a bunch of friggin... Uh... Tentacles and wingles bothering me. And if they do bother me, then they're at a high enough level where I should get some decent experience from them. What you basically want to do at this point is head further and further south until, as you hear, the music changes. Avoid those trainers unless you really feel the need to battle them. Like this one, this group right here is unavoidable, so... Uh, let's put Chub Chub in there to give Naruto some extra offense. Blah, blah, blah. What's the hurry? Yeah, the whole Hoenn region's about to blow up, but sure. Let's give you two the benefit of the friggin' doubt, jackasses. Uh, whatever. Nothing new here. Sharpedos and friggin' Chin Chows we've seen already. Nothing new. Nothing to see here. Move along, move along. But we want to get to... Wherever the hell it is. It's got to be around here somewhere. We're going to run right into it. Ah, shit. Blah, blah, blah. You have a tentacruel. You're not cool. And you don't even use the right moves on Naruto. Shame on you. Uh, excuse me, I want to replenish my health. Don't really need to, but I'm going to anyway. Pain in my ass. What is it with all the friggin' double battles? Ah, shit. Can't get through that way. Okay, this is gonna take some Cracker Jack timing. Suckers. Oh my god, why are there so many people swimming? And how do you carry money? I mean, the girls, it makes sense. They're probably carrying it in their bras, but I don't understand. Well, bras. Bathing suits. Why would a man carry his money in a bathing suit? That still doesn't make any sense. Then again, it doesn't really make sense for women to do it either, but whatever. All right. Pacific Log Town. A whole town built above the water. I'll admit... 
I'll admit. It's a nice little thing. There really isn't much to do in Pacific Log Town. It's just one of those towns. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, in Ruby and Sapphire, you don't even have to come here ever for anything. Like, it's just one of those towns that just, like, it exists. That's probably why they made Rayquaza such an important part of the, uh, the story in Emerald. I don't think anything significant happens here. I know there is a trade here. A trade that really agitates me. Is that a Pokedex? Did you get to meet a lot of different Pokemon? I wish I was like you. I think it's you. Check out this horsey. It's the horsey that I called yesterday to celebrate my birthday. Well, I can see that you want it. After all, it's priceless. I'll tell you what. I might be willing to trade it for a bag on. That is a horrible trade. That might be the singular worst trade in existence. No, no, no. Let me paraphrase that. If you have the op if you have the ability to get Kingdra, which we will see eventually, you guys all saw the last time we saw fucking Kingdra in a Game Boy game, not you know when we used one in Pokemon Black. If you had the ability to get it to use for your Let's Play, then I'd say go right ahead. Or just for your general amusement, yeah, I'd say go and make that trade. But for me, who I don't have the luxury of having that, it is a horrible trade. A trade that would never be worth anything. So if you're excuse me. And you know what? Before we do that, I don't think we need Dive ever again. But that doesn't mean that George V is done. I think it just means that Um, I think it just means that, um, thank you. I think it just means that we don't need to use Dive anymore, because the only real reason you need it is to get to Sutopolis and to the base, wherever it is. Okay. Now, getting to the Sky Pillar can be a little tricky, especially if you want to avoid trainers. <sighs> Pains in my ass. That's all these people are. Just gigantic pains in the ass. Okay, but here you are. I don't think you need to use... I don't think you need anything special to navigate the Sky Pillar just yet. Eventually you will, but not right now. Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I didn't notice that I'd left you behind. I've opened the locked door of the Sky Pillar. DT, let's be on our way. It's an earthquake. There's not a moment to waste. We've got to hurry. And let's walk at what can't even be described as a brisk pace. Hmm. The situation is getting worse. This isn't good. The weather distortion is spreading even here. DT, Rayquaza should be farther up from here. I'm worried about Tutopolis. I've got to go back. Everything is in your hands now. Don't fail us. No pressure for a 10-year-old. Oh, wild Pokemon, really? Oh, a Claydol! Hi! I forgot you were here. Now die for your insolence. Yeah, lucky us for now, we don't need to use, uh... For right now, we don't need the, uh... Like, a bike or anything to navigate this thing. Uh... Unless we do. I think we do. Ah, shit. Oh, no, I was right. I think he wrecks the tower a bit more right after we leave to make it slightly more annoying getting to him. There you are, Rayquaza. From the last time I saw you, you were getting a taste of Princess Booty Power in Nintendia. Is this true, Rayquaza? Did a princess show you her booty hole? 
You don't say! Oh, it flew off. Can I fly now? Can I fly? It's the whole reason I brought you here. Back to Sutopolis. Not when we don't have any more reason. Alright, more cutscene? Yep. Oh, and they're buddies now. They're standing next to each other, the Archie and the Maxi. Hey, what's up, dude? Not much, how are you doing? Oh shit, is it that, that green guy again? Oh, my god, he's such an asshole. No, I was going to do my meta Ridley voice, but I'm like, I don't think I have the capacity to do that right now. And besides, it's meta Ridley. When we play when we play Metroid and we get meta Ridley, we will do that voice again. You scare the shit out of them. You. You cowards. You cowards. There you go. There you go. We saved the day. Because we're amazing like that. Well, first, let's talk to the two main culprits. So, the super ancient Pokemon weren't only Groudon and Kyogre. After all the fruitless scheming and frantic efforts, that one Pokemon's simple action puts everything right. Again, as if nothing had happened. <laughs> Kyogre and Groudon both flew off to who knows where. The weather in Hoenn has returned to its normal state. <laughs> maybe that maybe what we were trying to do was something small, even meaningless to Pokemon. You assholes better run and I better not see your faces around here again. It looks like both Maxi and Archie have gone away somewhere. Perhaps they've gone to Mount Pyre to return those orbs. DT, my eyes didn't deceive me. Thanks to your help, Sutopolis, no, all of Hoenn was saved. On behalf of the people, I thank you. This is a gift from me. Please accept it. Yay, we got Waterfall! That hidden machine contains Waterfall. If you have the Rain Badge, a Pokemon that has... Learn the HM move can force its way up waterfalls. And where does one get the rain badge? You know, don't you? That's right, you have to beat the Sutopolis gym leader. When you're all set to go, step through that door. Let me look at our team for a bit, because we might need a little bit of uh, extra seasoning over by the Sky Pillar. Because if we're going to fight a bunch of 36s... Uh, uh, I think we're actually pretty good. So, you know what? I think we're gonna challenge him. I'm unafraid of an 8th gym leader. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go heal our guys, get whatever the f get friggin' uh, Apollo out of the computer, and we will begin our quest for the 8th gym badge. So, I'll be right back. As you would expect from something called the Rain Badge. And I just screwed it up. Actually, no, I didn't. Cool, I actually did it right for once. You actually do not have to fight any trainers here, first of all. But second of all, as I was saying, um, as you would expect from something called the Rain Badge, you actually, uh, duh. Wow, that was a lot easier than I remember it being. But you do not actually have to fight any trainers here, as you've seen. If you can navigate that ice puzzle correctly, you can go take on the gym leader. If not, you've got a shit ton of trainers on the bottom levels of the gym to take on. But as I was saying, as you can, I can't keep my mind straight today for some strange reason. Um, with something like the rain badge, you're obviously going to be facing a bunch of water types. So, Waddle Hump is literally of no use to us here. So... Apollo has the XP share, so she can get some experience. Uh, even though Waddle Hump would probably get it, get the most out of it. 
But unfortunately, I need Apollo to level up, and Apollo is the furthest one behind. And everyone else is okay. So, but, but like I said, we could technically go take on Juan right now, but I think our team could use a little bit more seasoning. And worst case scenario, I can always go heal our guys if they die. Plus, the fact that I figured out that puzzle so easily means I'm going to screw it up later. But hey, I might get lucky. So, let's see. A graceful glide across the ice while crossing no lines. A trainer putting on that performance would be elegantly beautiful. Now hopefully it's not a bunch of... <coughs> oh, man, these allergies are killing me. Oh wow, level 39, perfect. Just what you needed, Naruto. Just what you needed. But yes, water is the last gym here, as you one would expect. It is a region that's hev heavily water-influenced. That's being said, with that being the case, I don't know what part, like, what realm of planet Earth Hoenn is supposed to be. I know Kanto and Chodo are supposed to be parts of Japan. Uh, Sinnoh is supposed to be China. Uh, the Unova is supposed to be, uh, America. And Kalos is... Oh. Mm. Ew. I am so sorry about that. Probably gonna bleep that out, or I hope to bleep that out. But anyway, as I was saying, you, Kalos is part of France and all that. And isn't uh, Alola, like... It's not Hawaii, but it's like the... Around the same place that, like, Moana was made. Like, the, the islands and shit i don't know hold on guys we'll I'll be right back Ugh, sorry about that man like i said these allergies are killing me and i'd rather not blow out my nose on screen or even with that anymore and if i can just take if i could just take us off recording then that'll be what i have to do hmm. as much as i want everyone to be really high level like uh, naruto to be really high leveled Xerxes is also going to have some use here. So let's see. We got a Clam Pearl. Uh, Corfish. Have we seen Corfish yet? I don't think we have. My god, I don't think we've seen Corfish yet. Okay, um... As I kill it. Corfish is a pure water type. It's sort of in the same vein as the Krabby and Kingler lines from uh, Gen 1, where it's a very physically offensive water type. So in the first few generations, this game, this gift of these of this franchise, like the first three, it really wasn't the most useful. But once you got the physical special split to use moves like Crab Hammer and all that, it was be able to become a lot more usable. Like I said, when, um, when, uh, Sceptile evolved, most Pokemon get, got the, uh, got the, got the big boost from, the benefit and the boost from the physical special split. Sceptile being the one that got screwed over. Poor Sceptile. I haven't used it in, I didn't use it in Alpha Sapphire, I'll admit, I used Mudkip. So, I have no idea... If it's gotten any better, if it's any good. <sighs> I've always said, whenever I start a game for the first time, I want to use a water type. And the only exception was Pokemon, uh, was Pokemon X, where I decided, you know what? I'm going to break tradition. I wanted to use Fennekin. Although my ulterior motive was because I wanted to use Squirtle. <sighs> and, you know, have like a legitimate reason to use Squirtle. Good riddance. Goodbye, Azumarill. Oh my god, the money I'm getting. The money I'm getting. We're gonna be rich soon, Deetzy. Filthy, stinking rich. Alright. So basically, once Xerxes is at level 40, I'll give the rest to Naruto. Unless, of course... We get a Pelipper in the in the main battle, which is still possible because it is still a water type. Ugh. 
and I would put nothing past this game. It's shoved so many wingles in my face so far, this game. That I'm willing to... I'm willing to bet that it'd be more than willing to put some more in my in my path. That's the one thing that I'll admit sucks about uh, water types. I mean, about psychic types. At least early on in the in the series, they have like no physical defense. Like I remember how good uh, Gothitelle's attack uh, special. Can't talk today. I remember how good uh, Estelle, my Gothitelle's uh, defenses were. It was a bit alarming, honestly. I'm used to just them having really good special attack and speed, sometimes having good special defense, and then the rest just being garbage. Oh my god! You have the amulet coin? Oh my god, you do. This is it. This is gonna be very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Hmm. When I'm with my Pokemon, the time flies by before you can say, Oops. What the fuck does that mean? Like, seriously, like, what does that even mean? Oh my god, Azuril. Xerxes, this thing isn't even worth your best effort, but seeing as how your two moves are your best effort, just put it out of its misery. Alright, Meryl. Now you know what you stay in. Ugh, get that next level. Rise a bit more in respectability. My god, why are my allergies killing me today? I'm like two weeks into this new allergy medication that I'm in. Like, just today out of all days, it's just decided to completely flare up. No clue why. Oh my god. Oh well, at least it did some brutal damage to itself, and it's gonna get a citrus berry. Oh, even better. So now you get the... Oh! I forgot you guys don't heal. I thought it was one of those, another one of the ladies that's like, oh, I'm gonna give it a full restore. I'm sick of them too. That's what started in this game. It used to just be that only bosses would use healing potions on their Pokemon. That is no longer the case. You came all the way here, but you won't get the C1. Not if you lose to me, you won't. Um, you do realize I could lose to you and then just circumvent this entire area to go get one, right? It's not like a rule that I have to fight you. I showed them that you could easily get through that little special maze thing he has. Just saying. It's not impossible. Alright, Whelmer. Alright, Naruto, now it's your turn. Get some more experience. Honestly, I think our team is a little bit more prepared for... Honestly, I think our team is a little bit more prepared for this fight with Juan than we were when we did Emerald last time and that stupid rest spamming kept saving him I think we're a little bit safer in that those regards because we don't have too many Pokemon of like that are that can be easily damaged like we have some pretty good defensive Pokemon and we do have a good water type I mean we, it's not like we didn't have good water types last time when uh, in Snowpuff and uh, Maria but still I'm 
thinking you're gonna have a big role to play in taking out a certain Pokemon, Jellabella. Is this a double battle? God, I hope so. God, I hope so. Blah, blah, blah. Yay, double battle. Alright, look. Oh my god. Two useless Pokemon in one fight. One has some use, the other does not. Okay. Alright, let's see. Um, how to start this. Oh my god. I guess we should start with Feebas. Okay. Feebas is a Magikarp clone, in essence. Doesn't have a whole lot of uses. Doesn't have a whole lot of potential as it stands by itself. Now, as I say that, it does have a very, very special technique and ability to evolve. In order to get Feebas to its ultimate evolved state, you need to max out its... Oh my god, another love disc. Oh my god, this is not gonna... This is not gonna end well. You need to max out its beauty stat, and as far as I know, at this moment, it is the only Pokemon that I know of that evolves with one of its, like, its uh, Pokemon contest stats maxed out. And it evolves into Milotic, and Milotic is a really good Pokemon. In fact, I actually considered using it in this playthrough, but I chose Tentacruel mostly because A, it's easier to catch, and B, I love that poison subtype. The same love cannot be given to Love Disc. Love Disc is quite literally the definition of a useless Pokemon. It doesn't evolve, its stats are mediocre at best, and quite literally the only thing it has going for it is speed. It has no defenses, no damaging stats of any degree. It is just quite literally an awful Pokemon. And they, ma they made it because it's a they wanted a Pokemon to symbolize love. You know, all that, because it's shaped like a heart, obviously. But... My God. Is that Pokemon useless? It's hard to find. The only, the only, 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 only silver lining to having a love disc is that it, there is a almost, I think it's a 50% chance? Or maybe a bit higher percent chance that whenever you catch a love disc it will hold a hard scale so if you're a hard scale collector and you want to use them in later pokemon games such if you want to transfer the pokemon over to say pokemon platinum pokemon uh heart gold and soul silver you can do that Oy vey, i can't believe we got feebas and friggin and friggin uh love disc in that one oh my god another love disc what is wrong with these people? I, I, I don't even. I don't even. I don't even. You guys have horrible taste in water type Pokemon in this gym. You all should be ashamed. Every single one of you. Okay, I'm gonna go pulverize one, but first I need to go heal my team up because I don't want to waste any of my PP boosting things, so I'll be right back. Alright, let's see if we can do it again. Did a pretty good job last time, and I know I did it right again. Every time I feel like I've done it wrong, I've done it right so far. Uh, yeah, now I screwed it up. Oh, well. If this takes forever, then I'll just cut a lot of it out. And just cut to me getting to the gym leader. 
thing. Damn it. Wow, I'm making like, I'm making like rookie mistakes now. Wow. Okay. Now one bump, 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 bump. Feels like I'm like typing something. Like implementing a code or something. Alright, so in case something horrible happens, we can save right here. And let's go get our ace gym badge. Shall we? Who do I have out right now? Alright, Xerxes, you know what? Fine, you can start. Let me ask you, did you know? Ah, I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. Once I had given up my position as the gym leader. In my place, I had entrusted Wallace with the gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to make a comeback. Ah, but enough chatter. Let us begin our match, shall we? Please shall you bear witness to our artistry, the grand illusion of water sculpted by Pokemon and myself. Juan is not the gym leader in Ruby and Sapphire. Rather, he is one of the... He is... The, I don't even think he's in Ruby and Sapphire, to be honest with you. Uh, he is only a gym leader in Pokemon Emerald, so... He starts out with a love disc. You know what? It is it is par for this episode. I I am ashamed of. I am ugh. Whatever. All right, Xerxes. Let's just let's just let's just kill this thing right now. No, that does not mean hurt yourself. And figure. So now I have to use. Ah, uh, never mind. You snapped out of your confusion, and you ignored your infatuation with a weird heart fish. Good for you, Xerxes. I'm proud of you. Okay, Crawdaunt. I think you're best for this, too. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Crawdaunt is the evolved form of Corefish. It's really good at physical damage, and it is a water dark type, so don't use psychic types against, psychic attacks against it. But like the Kingler line, it doesn't have the best special defense, and you can probably take it out in one shot, just like I did. Alright, Whiskash. This is the one you're going to need a uh, grass type for. Whiskash, like the Wooper, Quagsire, and Mudkip, Mudkip all the way up lines, is a water ground type. Quad weak to grass though. So take that into account. It's kind of bulky, but at the same time, it's just got generic stats. The only water ground type Pokemon that ever have really dominating stats is the Mudkip line. That's probably because they know they've screwed over what uh, water types so much in these games. Alright, Celio! is the evolved form of Sveal. In case you guys don't remember, we had a Sveelio. This very bulky can do a lot of damage, but a Leaf Blade should do a sizable chunk of it. And because your special defense is higher because of that speed trade-off, you should actually live through that. And you did. Alright, Hyper Potion as I expected. Alright, Giga Drain. Ooh, nice. Good work, Naruto. And one more Leaf Blade should do it. Slice and dice the seal. That sounds so horrible when I admit it now. But he is a Gecko, so he could probably get away with it. Alright, Apollo's level 39. All right, Kingdra. Hi, Bay. Okay, Jellabella, you're up. The objective is to get this thing out as quickly as possible. This thing can be a problem. 
Then again, when is Kingdra ever not a problem? And unfortunately, I didn't teach a Pokemon Shockwave or Aerial Ace, which might not cut, which might come and bite me in the ass again. Alright, awesome, it was poisoned. Okay. Now, I don't have anything I can use for... Actually, I don't have anything shit. So it's all going to be up to luck from this point on. I swear to God, we better not have a repeat of the last time we had this fight. Alright, so now he's going to use the Hyper Potion. Saw that coming. Hopefully he avoids using the certain move it knows, and there it goes. Alright, Chesto Berry. Oh, cool! Luck is on our side today right now. Fucker, with your double team strategy. Oh man, shit. Alright. Use that last ether on Sludge Bomb. Ah, Freaking rest. Alright, good. Unfortunately, it still knows rest, which can be problematic. Let's see how Ice Beam does. Ooh, nice! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Just enough. You motherfucker. You knew it was going to be just enough to kill you, you smurr. chunk. Ice beam, decent chunk. Ice beam missed, okay. Ice beam missed. Sludge bomb, poison. Oh my god, you are coming through in the clutch, Jellabella. Alright, this should do it. Got him! Oh, that nightmare will not repeat itself. Whew. It tried to. My god, did it try to. Ah ha ha ha. Excellent. Very well, you are the winner. From you, I sense the brilliant shine of skill that will overcome all. However, compared with me or even Wallace, you are lacking in elegance. And I am flipping you off right now, screen. Perhaps I should make you a loan of my outfit. How about no? Ha ha ha. I'm merely jest. Rather than my clothes, I shall reward you with this, the rain badge. And a shit ton of money. Thank you. That is badge numero ocho. Playthrough's almost done. Having the rain badge shall assure you the full obedience of all your Pokemon to your every command. The rain badge also allows the use of the HM move waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. And so that you never forget the battle we shared, take this. Is it the TM for rest, you asshole? Nope, Water Pulse. In use, it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. And now we register him because we need to be friends with all the gym leaders. For some asinine reason, that's what D wants and that's what she gets. Both Steven and Wallace have left. So, yeah. We got the eight gym badges. I bet you think that means we're time to go for us to go face the Pokemon League, right? Eleven different herbs and spices of no. We've still got a few things to do around the Hoenn region. 
I still have to debate whether or not I'm going to take part in a Pokemon contest. I don't recall if I even gave a thing to any of you guys. I think I gave it to Apollo, if anything. Um, but I still have to decide if I'm taking part in a Pokemon contest. We still have a few places we have to explore with Waterfall. We still have a lot of things to do before we take on the Elite Four. And the biggest one, including but not un not discluding, the need to beef up our team because the Elite Four gets significantly harder than the gym leaders were, in case you didn't know, in case this is your first rendezvous in a Pokemon game. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I'm NintendoMan64. Join me next time, where we start exploring places we couldn't previously explore because we lacked a certain HM ability known as Waterfall. Until then, sayonara.